While it pins can instantly transform your outfit and make you look more stylish. But if you are shorter like me, it can also be overwhelming and make you look frumpy. Here's the do's and don'ts. How do make wildlife pants work, especially if you're shorter or have short legs? I'm 5'2". One of my biggest challenges with wildlife pants is layering. Whatever coats or jackets I wear, it just doesn't seem right. Like this. You might be thinking, well, Chi, what's wrong with it? Just compare it with this. Did you notice? The main thing I changed is the length of my jacket. The reason the longer outerwear looks unflattering with wide leg pants is because when they are long, they have a wide opening at the bottom. And there's two wide openings in your silhouette. That's why it's never gonna look pleasant to the eye. Instead, when you switch to shorter outerwear, immediately your silhouette looks cleaner and this is a much better body proportion. Here is something I just discovered. Necklines matter a lot, especially when you're wearing with wide leg pants. The one neckline that I found always work off the shoulder necklines. And the reason is quite simple. Off the shoulder necklines are slimming for your face because they cover less of your top. And that's why they give you an elongating effect. And that's exactly what you need when you're wearing wide leg pants because wide leg pants carry a lot of volume. They have extra fabrics because of the wider leg shapes and they need something that's slimy to balance it out. And these are from my clothing line for women 5, 4 and under. Go to PetitDressing.com today and use code PETIT15 for 15% off your first order. And here's one thing you should never wear with white leg pants. Oversized tops. It's not that oversized never works if you're petite. Actually, I just did a video on how to rock the oversized trends even when you are short. They can work. But the problem is they don't work with wide leg pants. Oversized anything is carrying a lot of volume. That's exactly what wide leg pants do. So you're basically doubling up on the volume in your body. And no matter how tall you are, this is going to be very challenging. And especially if you happen to be a curvy petite, this is only gonna make you look bulkier and make you look bigger than you actually are. One of the easiest ways to make it look better on you is to go tonal. Wear beige pants with camel is one of the examples, but of course you can do your own version of it. Even though they're not exactly the matching colors, this is from the same color scheme. And of course, you can go completely monochrome. And that means matching the color of your top with your white leg pants. Whenever you're wearing monochrome or tonal outfit, they are always gonna be very flattering for somebody who's petite. This is creating a column of colors. And this is elongating, and that's offsetting the widening effect of the wide leg pants. A lot of us wear wide leg pants for work. So you're likely gonna wear it with a button down shirt. Now here's the thing. If you are not tucking in your shirt, this is how it looks. And you might think that looks quite normal because a lot of us don't tuck our shirt. But wait till you see the difference after you do tuck your shirt. Do you see a big change? Whenever you're wearing something with such a big amount of volume, like your white leg pants, you need to do everything you can to make your top smaller or shorter. And that's how you use the rule of volume to balance out the entire outfit. Whenever you're tucking, your legs immediately look longer, but that's not the only thing. It also makes you look slimmer and your entire silhouette look cleaner. Now let's talk about the length. One of my favorite subjects. Well, because I'm 5'2", so the length of any pants is always my focus. When it comes to wide leg pants, you want to go as long as you can. And the reason is because longer length can offset the width of the pants. Because the pants are expanding you horizontally, you need something to balance out in the length. And that's why longer wide leg pants always look more flattering on somebody who is shorter. I know this may sound so counterintuitive. For shorter women, shouldn't it work better when the legs are shorter? Well, that's not the case when it comes to wide leg pants. When the wide leg pants are shorter, especially when you are wearing something above the ankle, 
they actually emphasize that white leg hemline and that's going to make it more noticeable and they're cutting your legs off. So make sure when you're wearing white leg pants, at least they should be ankle length and make sure you're going as long as you can. Now let's talk about the shoes. The other half of the equation, white leg pants is all about your shoes, especially if you are already petite like me. Here's one kind of shoes you should never wear with white leg pants, sneakers. You might be thinking, Wachi, well, I don't want to look taller, that's why I want to wear sneakers. But here's the thing, not only sneakers don't make you look taller, but also they make you look bulkier, they make you look bottom heavy. And the reason is because they have bigger toe shape. And toe shape is everything when it comes to styling your white leg pants. You don't have to wear stilettos, but you do want to make sure your toe shape is slender. And for that reason, whenever you are wearing sneakers, they're gonna make your bottom look even bigger than they are. And if you're looking to maximize your leg length, go with pointed toe heels. For those of you who watch a lot of my videos, you know that's my go-to. Especially when you're wearing something that's wider at the bottom, you need the toe shape to be pointy in order to balance out the wide leg opening. And of course, if you can handle heels, heels are always the best option that make your legs look the longest. Here is something you're probably not paying attention to, but it really matters. How does it make you look in your butt? It really is critical because if your white leg pants are too loose, like a lot of us wear palazzo pants, they can make your buttocks look disappeared and that can make you look frumpy. So even though white leg pants are supposed to be relaxed fit, in the leg shape, you don't want them to look shapeless in your buttocks. So whenever you're trying white leg pants, make sure you look at yourself from behind in the mirror and you need to make sure you can still see the shape of your butt. If you're pretty like me, you may have noticed it's not only about white leg pants, it's really about just about anything that you wear, you have to put more thoughts into it because every style is gonna look different when you're working with a shorter frame. For that reason, I started my own clothing line for women 5'4 and under because I realized how much a big difference it can make in terms of the style, the detail, even the colors. So make sure you go to petitedressing.com today and check out my clothing line for women 5'4 and under.